What's up, you guys? It's Susan Morad right back here on Clever News. And the weekend left fans at a loss for words yesterday when he debuted a fully altered face for his brand new music video, Save Your Tears. And we just have one question. Abel, is that really you? The Weeknd is officially parading Bandage Free in his new music video for Save Your Tears that dropped Tuesday, and we finally have some insight as to what prompted his mysterious medical face procedure he's been flaunting for quite some time now. He's stayed true to character since before debuting the bandages on stage at the 2020 AMAs back in November, where he performed a medley of Save Your Tears and In Your Eyes. But when tuning into the video off of his wildly successful After Hours album, Fans were shocked to see that The Weeknd had undergone some rather disturbing alterations to his face, aka some serious Botox and fillers. Except for the fact that the procedure deemed anything but successful. Abel flaunted a crooked nose, exaggerated jawline, overly plump lips and cheeks and even surgery scars that completely outlined his face. Just hours after the music video debuted, he also took to Instagram to share an up-close photo of himself featuring his completely botched look with zero explanation. This didn't stop fans from sharing their input, which included terrifying comparisons, a little bit of fear and even some deep concern for his well-being. One user tweeted, The weekend really took can't feel my face to another level, while another person went as far as to compare his new look to a SpongeBob SquarePants character writing, Yo, The Weeknd turned himself into handsome Squidward and I'm sick over it. Some fans made comical side-by-side -side comparisons about The Weeknd's before and after looks with The Weeknd and The Weekday references, while others made jokes about his appearance, tweeting things like, This is what The Weeknd without football feels like. But despite how real and lifelike these disturbing features may appear, don't worry you guys, Abel is just wearing prosthetics as a means for added promotion for his album. The enhancements were applied by Mike Marino of Prosthetic Renaissance, who took to Instagram to explain these alterations were nothing but weird plastic surgery makeup. He even previously revealed to Esquire that the bloody makeup was to raise awareness about drunk driving. But fans also think the bandages and the plastic surgery were in reference to his song Escape from LA on his After Hours album where he sings about all the LA girls look the same because they all get the same work done on their face. In his Save Your Tears video, another hidden reference came after he threw a trophy that resembled a Grammy, which many fans recall just a few months back when he was snubbed from receiving any 2021 Grammy nominations for his incredible album that debuted at number one on the charts and sold more units than any other album in the first half of 2020. And it's almost inevitable not to mention the Selena Gomez lookalike, in which many are even convinced that he whispers her name at one point in the video when calling the lookalike up to dance after he says, oh girl. It's quick, but take a listen. Okay, that one's still up for interpretation. And of course, even though many fans believe that the female in the music video looks a lot like Selena, the lyrics, I made you cry when I run away, among others, are also believed by some fans to potentially be referencing his past relationship with Bella. But if there's anything we got out of all of this, it's that The Weeknd is one hell of a dedicated artist. Oh, and thank God those lip fillers and cheek injections are fake. And to see the effect Selena Gomez has on males in the music industry, click right over here for another clever video. Then be sure to let me know all of your thoughts on The Weeknd's plastic surgery look in the comment section below. Honestly, you guys, he completely blows me away every time. I'm your host, Susan Morad. You can find me on Instagram at Susan underscore Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.